Hey guys, Ashley here with Handmade Haven, and today I'm showing you how I built this cool DIY plate rack. Let's check it out. So the first thing I did was just kind of draw out the design of the plate rack sides. As you can see, I kind of freehanded this um, to kind of look the way I wanted. I also used a 1x4 to help me draw a straight line for the top of the plate rack side. After the sides were drawn out, I used my new Ryobi brushless jigsaw to cut it out. Um, I'm super excited about this jigsaw because this is the first cordless one I've had. Um, my first one I ever bought was corded, and let me tell you, cordless is definitely the way to go. So unfortunately, my camera wasn't recording for this part when I thought it was. Um, but I did take a picture just so you can see how I used this um, circular saw to cut the straight line on the sides for the plate rack. I also want to note that I used the Diablo Ultra Finish Saw Blade, um, which is really good for fast, durable, and clean cuts. So the next steps was to add the supports in between the plate rack. So I used my handy dandy Craig jig, which is one of my favorite tools. Um, to drill in pocket holes into the plate rack sides. For this particular project, I have my Craig jig set on a 3 4 inch setting. Next, I changed out my Craig bit so that I could start screwing the supports of the plate rack to the two sides. To screw all the supports to the plate rack, I'm using one and one fourth inch pocket hole screws. Um, these are made by Craig. I use them all the time. Highly recommend them. I also want to note that I am using my Ryobi drill and driver to drive in all of these screws. Next, I am adding in the bottom shelf for the plate rack and I'm using my Ryobi brad nailer to attach it um, to the plate rack. I am just securing it in place on both sides and then I lift up the plate rack and then put brad nails down through the bottom. Next I am just adding the 1-3 trim to the bottom shelf of the plate rack and I also secure that in place with my Ryobi brad nailer. After that's all secure in place, I go back to my Craig jig to drill in pocket holes for the front trim pieces. I then begin adding those to the plate rack using my Ryobi drill and driver and the pocket hole screws, screws as I said before. Once everything is all secured in, I take my Ryobi corner cut sander just to sand the edges, make everything look clean and fresh. Now this is the fun part. I'm using my Bosch Daredevil spade bit set um, to do the holes for the dowels on this plate rack. And this was a super fun part of this project. Once the holes were all drilled in, I used um, my DAP Rapid Fuse glue to put them in the holes and secure the dowels into place. I did opt to use the Watco Danish oil and walnut for this build. Um, this is actually the first time I've used it, this Danish oil, um, but I really liked it. I liked the way it made the wood pop. Um, I used poplar wood for this build, um, so it really brought it to life, I think, um, and it was super easy to apply. And that's that. My DIY plate rack is finished. Uh, I love how it came out. 
um, it was a super easy build was able to finish it just within a couple hours if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and for more projects and tutorials check out handmade-haven.com later y'all